You'll need PowerDirector and still editing software to complete this exercise. We're using the free download paint.net. First import a background image. Create a new layer and then select the text icon. From the font menu we're going to use Lucida. Make the text as large as you can. Select bold and center. Now type your text. Select the Move tool to adjust the text placement. Go to the Layers tab and click Merge Layer Down. Press Escape on your keyboard to stop the marching ants. To create the mask, we need the magic wand. Adjust the tolerance by trial and error to the highest possible setting whilst ensuring you only select the lettering. Highlight each set of letters and, with the marching ants operating, press delete key on your keyboard. Save the mask is a PNG file. Now open PowerDirector. Highlight track 2 and right click. Select Add Tracks. In the resulting menu, click OK. Go to File and import copies of the original image and the mask we've just made. Drag the mask onto the new track. Go to the PIP Objects icon. Select Paint Designer and go to the pen. Set the width. Again, a bit of trial and error is needed, but the width has to be larger than the mask lettering. Choose the color for the ink. Select the red radio button and all that's left is to click on your mouse and drag following the lettering, as if you were writing. Speed is not important, as we can adjust this in a moment, but try to keep the movement as smooth as you can. Once finished, release the mouse and click the radio button to stop the recording. Now click Save As, name the animation and save it. Close the window and in the next screen, drag the animation onto track 2. Go to the media room, drag the original image onto track 1. Right click on the animation clip, select set duration and adjust the time. Remember, this determines how fast the animation runs. Drag the top and bottom clips to a similar length and all that's left is to check the result. And you're done. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.